What's up guys, I'm Chris of Emery. It's October, Halloween times, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick look on how I created this slimy version of my logo using onion skin in Adobe Animate. Let's go! Alright, so let's start in Photoshop and import your logo into a new document. I'll just create something here called slime for this tutorial and what we want to do now is to make a green base of the logo that we later on can add some frame by frame animation to. I'll put a bright green overlay on it and then I'll add a stroke to it to make the corners a little bit softer. Then I rasterize the layer and add some dripping detail to it. Okay, so this is the base. And now I'll add some shading in a darker green and a new layer. And after that, I'll put some white highlights also in a new layer. Okay, so now if I feel I'm happy with the result, I'll just collapse the layers. Have in mind that you can of course keep a transparent background if you want to work with like PNGs or something. But for this video I'll just collapse the whole thing and save it as a JPEG file uh, somewhere that I can find it. Now that I feel my slime logo base is done it's time to head into Adobe Animate. Alright create new HTML. I put my frames per second down to 12 and I change my document size to the same size of my JPEG. Then I click file, import and I import the stage. I find my JPEG and boom! Adjust it to the area and then I want to make sure I have my slime layer visible for a little more than one second for this project. Select and drag out. Right click and select convert to keyframes. Nah, I changed my mind. Let's do one second. Okay, I lock my background layer because I'm just gonna animate on other layers and I don't want to fuck up my original layer. I have my new layer here and I select one second of it and I convert to keyframes. So what we're going to do now is to draw on each and every frame on this second. A total of 12 frames. I make sure I have the first frame selected. I pick the brush tool and adjust color to the green one I want. Make sure pressure is activated and then I activate this little box down here called onion skin outlines. This thing gives us outlines in green of art after our selected frame and outlines in blue of art that's before our frame in the timeline. Very useful. And now I just draw a little blob on the L. Click F6 to jump onto the next frame. And now you see that blue outline on the last frame, so I kind of know where to go with my next one. And this is how you do it. Draw, hit F6, draw, hit F6, until I have my entire second animated. And I do this pretty rough right now, but I hit the loop button and I, it looks kinda okay. What I want to do now is to add a lighter green to every frame. Same thing all over again. Pick the right green and then back to the first frame and draw. Hit F6 for the next frame. Draw until I have my entire second drawn out. This is basically the technique. Really fun and simple.
if I feel I'm done with this part, I'll lock the frame so that I don't fuck it up later and I create a new layer. Drag out one second, convert to keyframes. First keyframe, brush, color, onion skin, and draw. F6, draw. F6, and repeat. Once you kind of get a hold of it, it becomes really smooth with one hand drawing and the other one on the F6 button. So this is how I always do it. Click the loop and hit play to see how it looks. And of course we want it to loop nicely, so make sure that the end of your second works with the start of it. So this is basically it. When you put a little more time into it, you could create something like I did for my logo. It's more layers and a little longer loop, but I use the exact same basic technique. And from here, you could render it into a sequence and perhaps import it into After Effects, like I did, and put some time into making it look even cooler. I even made a GIF out of it and put it into my email signature so my clients know how damn gangster I am. Anyways, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great Halloween. Make sure to watch a lot of horror movies and see you next time.